Just set an intention. Romantic love. Okay. That's not what we want to talk about. No. No. I want to talk about something else. Whatever it is that you're wanting to do, whatever it is that you're wanting to break out of, break into, there's something that you're going to need to do first. So it's something about giving back. Somebody may need to give back something to someone. Maybe somebody has something that belongs to somebody else and they may need to give it back. Or some, yeah. Somebody could be feeling stuck and they're realizing that they need to give something back to someone. Yeah. Somebody is stuck. They may have taken something from somebody or used something, but they're realizing that they have to give it back. Okay. We'll see what the, where this goes with that. Um, I'm also getting something about giving back. So uh, it's like the, okay, so the laws of the universe. Um, it's the, you know, the ebb and flow, you know. Whenever you get something, you have to give back. Uh, the law of use. Oh, it's, it's, it, it ties into a few different things. Um, but it's like when you receive something, you have to be able to give back. So if you receive knowledge, give it back. Give it to somebody who needs it. Okay. That's what I'm getting. All right. You have to be able to give something that somebody can use. I was telling somebody that, about this recently. Virgos, we like, at least, I'll, I'll just say for me, um, getting gifts. You know, I like a gift that I can use. You know, so if I buy somebody a gift, I'll look at something and say, hmm, I think this person could use that and I'll give them that gift, you know, whether they wanted it or not. That's just kind of like how it is for me. You know, maybe it frustrates some people. I don't know. People usually seem OK with it. They seem happy with it. But it's kind of like that. It's like if you're giving something to somebody, make sure it's something that they can use. OK. King of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles. I'm definitely getting another theme here, that, that other theme in reference to giving something back to somebody. Okay. What is this? Somebody took something. I feel like some, and I don't have the seven words, but I feel like somebody took something. Somebody took something from you. Somebody took something from you. Yeah. This was either a friend took something from you. Um, they used something where they had no business using it. They took something. So they're unable to actually, somebody was actually unable to use it. So let's say if, you know, it doesn't have to be a friend. Um, I only say that is because we have the three of cups. Um, but it could be somebody close to you. And I, I do have this aspect of a home, you know, giving something to someone and then they took it. And they're realizing that they're unable to use it. So this could mean several different things. It's like somebody is realizing that whatever it was that they obtained from you, they realized it wasn't really a good fit. It just doesn't fit. Okay. Example, you know, you take somebody's dress or let's say you're out shopping and somebody says, I want that dress, you know, or it's, it's beautiful. I think it's going to look amazing on me. I want it. And you tell your friend next thing you know, and you can't really afford the dress, but then you find out that your friend later on went and bought that dress and they're wearing it, you know, and you're like, it's something like that. So you were unable to achieve it, you were unable to get it or obtain it because you didn't have the amount of money in order to purchase it, or this other person was in a different position to be able to, to, be able to purchase it. However, when they got this dress and they wore it, maybe some people may have liked it, but then they realized after some time, something happened with the dress. You know, it didn't fit, it burst, 
you know, something happened. Maybe they had bad luck with it. Maybe they got a lot of unwanted attention from it. And they're like, man, I don't want this dress. Okay. I'm going to give this to the person that actually really, really wanted it. I'm going to give this to my friend. You know, it's, it's kind of like being presented to me like that. And it's red. So whatever it is, it's something about passion. I'm seeing this beautiful dress or this beautiful red gown. Now this can be literal or it can be metaphoric. Um, now take this however it is metaphorically for you. Let's start expanding our minds a little bit and our creativity. Let's tap into that creativity. Let's say, you know, this was a gift, a metaphysical gift, you know, a spiritual gift, a superpower that you may have or possess. This could be anything from speaking to people, being able to relate to people on a certain level, to be able to understand, to nurture, to calm people. Okay. Um, and then a friend sees how, you know, people really love this about you. The way it is you can relay certain messages to people, you know, whatever this is, you know, it doesn't always have to be like a psychic ability or something like that. Could it be? Yes. But it doesn't have to be something so extreme. You know, this can be simply just how elegant you are or how it is that you make people, you move people with your words, you empower people anything our gifts are we have our, each of us have different gifts and we are plentiful in that where other people aren't okay and there could be somebody who have been mimicking you know whatever it was and try to actually be that however in doing that they had to be you all the time okay i hope i'm making sense here and they realize that this is something that this is like a tall order you know what? i want to kind of get back to being myself because this is kind of exhausting being somebody else. Being somebody else is kind of exhausting. I have to keep this facade up all the time. And it's not me. It doesn't feel good. Like the dress. I have to take it off. It itches, you know, or it doesn't fit. It doesn't look right on me, you know, something about it. Okay. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> Could even be a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you know? Hey, when they were together, they looked very, very happy. You know, so happy that in fact, I wanted that person's partner. So I did whatever I could to get that person, steal that person away. This happy couple, I broke them up because I wanted to be happy. So I did something to lure the other person away. You know, just indulge a little bit. Just bear with me, okay? Or indulge me, I should say. Um, but when that person pulled that partner away, you know, the happy couple, they broke up that happy couple and they pulled that partner away. They realized, I really don't like this. You know, I'm not as happy as they were. You know, this person really isn't a really good match to me, but I thought that this person would work and I have to do everything I can in order to make this work. And it doesn't feel good. I actually have to lose part of myself in order to make myself, you know, fit into this person's life, their agenda. I don't really want them anymore. You know, why don't you go back to your, your partner? You know, you guys were happier together. You know, metaphorically, that could be something that somebody could be thinking or feeling. However, it's kind of like damaged already, you know. <sighs> I hope I'm making sense. I hope I'm making sense. So this could be any of these stories or more. I could sit and give examples all day long. So try to tap into your creativity. Okay. Tap into that creativity that you have to see how it fits for your situation or your scenario. You have this eight of cups here. All right. Sun in reverse. Yes. Somebody is quite unhappy. I feel like the goal was in order to impress others or to have victory, accomplish something, um, have everyone look at me because this person's up on a horse. Look at me, everyone. I'm getting all these gifts. People, you know, like me. And that's what I'm getting. But however, however it was, it turned out. It just didn't turn out the way somebody planned. And there, it's like somebody has to give something back. Okay. Yeah. Something actually caused a lot of... I want, I, want, I want to say fire, chaos, turmoil, whatever it was, whatever it was, is some, something that somebody took from another person. It's just like, you know, they were like, you know what? It just, it's 
just, it's too much. It's exhausting. Somebody has to go back and forth between two different things, probably two different paradigms. <sighs> this is a really, really interesting reading and it's incredibly deep. This is incredibly deep. So I'm probably going to lose a few people. People probably may not even understand where I'm getting at. But example, you have somebody who <sighs> basically bottom line is whatever somebody's skills, talent, or whatever it is that they have, it's not always for the faint of heart. If you have somebody who's wealthy and they're, and they, they love to make money and they love to, you know, do the haul and the hustle and they thrive for it and they make a lot. But then they see somebody else who really doesn't make a lot of money and they're like, I could do what that person does. I'm going to flip that around, you know, take this person's skills. I'm going to keep it for myself. I'm not going to help that person. You know, that person probably does a lot and helps and heals a lot of people. They probably make a difference in people's lives. And I love the reaction that people give that person, but they don't have a lot of money. And they don't have a lot of the skills and they don't have the know-how that I do in order to expand it and grow it. I'm going to be like this person and I'm going to take whatever the skills that they have and I'm going to implement them in my life. I'm going to become fake and I'm going to use these skills and I'm going to bank on these skills. Okay. Um, and I'm going to make it into something amazing. In order for me to do that, I'm going to have to learn more things about this person. If it's like metaphysical, this has been like a theme lately. If it's something about metaphysics, I'm going to have to learn about these things to become this person in order to make it successful because I can do better than this person. I can make it very successful. They can't. They don't have the know-how of the business sense, but I have the business sense. Okay. Still following me? So this person gets into this and starts doing this and they realize this isn't going to produce the amount of money that I expected. I love making money. My old job, my other thing that I used to do, I was good at that because I enjoy the green stuff. And whatever this is, it's not really, it's actually taking us so much more hard work to do this, to make something very sustainable. I'm going to have to give up a lot of things that I don't want to give up. It's really not in my heart. It's not in my soul to do this. I want to give it back to this person. Because that person can actually do something important and make a difference in the lives of others. If they did it on a larger scale. If they had the money. You know, I'm going to give, I'm going to give this back to them. That's, a, that's for them. And let them figure that out. It's kind of what I'm getting. This is incredibly deep. Somebody has been doing some serious soul searching about what it is that they want and who they want to be in this world. And some people just want to, you know, they have a passion for, you know, something that could be very, very fruitful. That's their enjoyment. That's their pleasure. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe that's their role in the world, you know, to make something work and to make a lot of money with it, you know, to help the flow of humanity, whatever it is, however it is. That is their sole purpose. And they enjoy the money and the benefits that they get with it. That's fine. And you have somebody over here who is much more spiritual. And their role and their job in the world is to do something different. To touch the lives in a different way. To help people function. Not just make, basically help society function. You know. As far as, you know, the business aspect. This is, this is a different side where this is a way to touch people on a different level, to help people function on a personal level into society and to heal and become better, okay? Whatever it was I was trying to take from that person who has this magical gift that I don't have and I don't have the patience for it, I got to give it back to this person. So... If you followed me through that, through that journey, because whatever this is, I feel like it's very, very magical. Something is going to be given back. Something is about to be given back to someone. Something that was taken from them. Okay. 
Something is about to be given back. All right. Somebody just doesn't want to compete. They don't want to deal with whatever it is. And they want to, They somebody wants to go back to the way that they were. Okay. We're going to give it back. All right. Could have even been for, you know, superficial reasons as far as, you know, letting people see them or getting the accolades or, you know, people tell me I'm wonderful and amazing. Like people told this person, you know, I hope you're following me. Look at that. Look at that. I feel like somebody has done some serious soul searching and they're ready to kind of give back something, give somebody their credit. Give somebody their voice back. Give somebody their stage back, their platform. Give somebody back their abilities and stop trying to steal the show from somebody who they realize that this person has a calling for. Okay. That's what I got. I, there really isn't much more with this. Something is like, you know, just let it go. Stop. And just let it, just let it flow to you. Okay. This is a really, really beautiful message. So, whoever this is, just let it flow to you. Somebody's Ten of Cups is coming back to them. Okay. Whatever that is to you. Like, comment, share, follow. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up. And um, hit the notification bell. That's it.